Hello and welcome to the news in English live from Mogadishu with me I am Omar Nur the top headlines include Ethiopian government has sent troops to Somali border to avert al-Shabaab attacks Somali military has executed a man in central Somalia for killing a senior intelligence official Somali president has held talks with his Egyptian counterpart in Cairo to discuss the bilateral relations between the two countries. Villa Somalia has denied reports by local media in Egypt that Somalia and Egypt agreed to cooperate on the dispute over the Nile Dam in Ethiopia. U.S. Special Envoy to the Horn of Africa is heading to Ethiopia for talks with Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed to resolve the conflict in Ethiopia. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia has left the country to Europe for the first visit since the killing of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018 in Turkey. Welcome back to the news in details. We begin with the Ethiopian troops deployment to Somalia to avert the major Al-Shabaab attack. Major General Tasfaya Ayelo, head of the de deployment unit of the Ethiopia National Defense Forces and the coordinator of the temporary security command post in the Somali regional state said, uh, that coordinated measures were being uh, taken to clean up the members of Al-Shabaab militants who were cut off from their unit that tried to infiltrate through the eastern Ethiopia. Major General Tasfaya said that the group tried to attack through five different border areas, namely Yet Ato, Albert de Washako, Ferfer, but they were completely uh, rebelled by the security forces of Ethiopia. Several heavy weapons and small armies were also seized from the group, including automatic machine uh, Ghanis RPGs, he said, uh, adding that currently the joint uh, uh, Ethiopian National Defense uh, Forces and Somali Regional State Security Forces are fully entered uh, these areas. Furthermore, state media reported that 85 members of Al-Shabaab militant group were killed in a joint operation by the federal and regional security forces at a place called El Qudun village in Ferfer uh, on the border between Somalia and Ethiopia. The news came after Somali Region Security Council uh, said uh, July 2050 that the militant group Al-Shabaab which entered of their zone of Somali region on 20 July from the place called Ato in Bakol region in southwest state of Somalia on the border was completely destroyed after being encircled in the sub capello called Hulhul. Reinforcement members of the Ethiopian National Defense Forces were sent on July 25th to join the Somali Regional Security Forces in the fight against uh, Al-Shabaab militant group. Prior to the, that, uh, Somali Region Security Council said that more than 100 members of Al-Shabaab militants were killed in three-day operation. The council said that 13 vehicles from Al-Shabaab were burnt down and weapons were seized uh, during uh, the operation.
Somali President His Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has held a meeting with his Egyptian counterpart Abdul Fattah Al Sisi uh, on Monday in Cairo uh, for talks on the bilateral relations. According to the outlet media outlets in Egypt, the two leaders announced during the joint press conference at El Etihadia Palace that they discussed a range of issues regarding the security and stability in the Horn of Africa region, especially in the Red Sea and the dispute of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Gerd. Fila Somali's spokesman Abdul Karim Ali Kar has strongly denied a statement from Egyptian presidents that the dispute of the Gerd dominated the talks between al-Sisi and President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed. The presidential palace of Egypt said both leaders condemned that they called uh, Ethiopian unilateral measures on to the filling and operating of the multi-billion Grand Nile Dam. I and the Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed stressed the necessity to reach a binding deal on GERD filling and operating without delay based on the UN Security Council presidential statement in September 2022 in order to preserve regional security and stability, said Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, adding that he and Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed stressed the necessity to reach a binding deal on GED and the operating of the Nile Dam in the Ethiopian country. Also, the presidential uh, spokesperson of Somalia has refuted that Somali president and uh, his Egyptian counterpart agreed on the dispute of the Nile Dam. Carl has clarified that the meeting between the two presidents and the press release never mentioned issues about the Nile River water dispute. Somalia has nothing to do with the matter, he has said. The spokesman insisted that al-Sisi and Mahmoud only discussed ways of posting the bilateral relations, especially economic cooperation, and they reviewed the progress in cooperation projects between the two countries. Are still following our news in English live from Mogadishu. With me, I am Omar Noor. More than 50 million people across the Horn of Africa region are expected to face acute food insecurity this year. A regional blog said on Friday, warning that some 300,000 in Somalia and South Sudan are projected to be under full blown vermin conditions. The assessment by the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, is one of the most dire yet as United Nations, U.S. agencies, humanitarian groups and others continue to raise alarm of the region's food crisis that many said has been largely neglected as the international community focuses on the war in Ukraine. That assessment applies to seven member states of IGAD from Djibouti to Uganda, uh, Somalia, as well as Ethiopia. Samantha Power, the administrator of the United States Agency for International Development, uh, uh, USAID, has traveled to the East Africa and has held a meeting with Somali president in Mogadishu this week. In Kenya's capital, Nairobi, on Friday, power announced at least 255 million US dollars in drought-related humanitarian and development support to Kenya. 
She is expected to visit Ethiopia in the coming few days, according to the uh, local reports. Power earlier in the week spoke on the need to prevent the global food crisis from becoming a catastrophe, announcing U.S. aid 1.2 billion U.S. dollars in funding that includes immediate food assistance for the people in Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya. Uh, the Horn of Africa is facing uh, its worst drought in 40 decades, according to the UN. In addition to the immediate humanitarian aid, the international community must sustain investment in global agriculture and undertake concerted uh, diplomacy so that we mobilize our resources from donors avoid export restrictions that can exacerbate the crisis and lessen the pattern on poor countries, Power said in a speech in the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, D.C. Aid groups and other watchdogs have been calling for more funds to be devoted to East Africa after the war in Ukraine grabbed the world's attention and money. Three million people face emergency and catastrophic levels of hunger, risking death. The International Rescue Committee said in a statement last Tuesday. That's all for our today's English news live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Noor and the entire team of the program will leave you. Bye for now.